This is for the installation of an active fuel management lifter on a 2007 new body style Chevrolet Silverado 5.3 V8 Vortec engine. That's what it looks like there. Here is the specifications on it. You guys want to look up that? Now this is an active fuel management lifter. It has a hole in it with a spring on the bottom. Non-active fuel management lifters look like this. This is the active fuel management, or this is just the retainer for the lifters. Two active fuel management, two non-active fuel management. Two active fuel management lifter has the grooves in the retainers right here. Um, there's your push rods. Make sure you always um, roll them across a flat table. See if they're wobbly or not. If they wobble, they're bad. Get new ones. This is a VLOM oil, uh, valve lifter oil manifold. It's in the center between the cylinder heads on the top. Um, they recommend getting a new one if you're replacing all the lifters. Or if yours is fine, just uh, clean out the filter that's below the oil pressure sensor, like I did. I just cleaned it out with uh, pressurized air. If you have the money to buy a new one, just buy a new one. <laughs> Here's the tightening sequence, if anybody wants to look at that. Press pause on the video if you like. Some info on the camshaft, diameters, press pause on the video, torque specifications, 1500-2500 series, Chevrolet, Silverado, torque specs, so yeah like I said if you need that info, press pause on the video. And um, I also recommend just um, put, you know, definitely put oil on the lifters when you're about to install them into the engine block make sure there's fresh oil on there clean oil and then make sure when you're replacing the cylinder head bolts on make sure that you put number two permatex on there otherwise you're gonna have a coolant leak very important now this is the proper way to install the lifters. You're just going to put them in like so. There's holes inside the lifter. You want to make sure all the holes are facing the same way. So actually this is the correct way. Like that. Now you see that groove in the retainer? Make sure that this little indent here that's on the lifter this is the active fuel management lifter make sure that it goes in there like so and it goes in there like this your lifter is going to be able to move up and down if you put it in the wrong way like my mechanic did you're going to have a major problem you can still forcefully put it in there this is very critical though if you, if you guys put it in there like this it'll still go in but it's going to be stuck it's not going to go up and down like this that's the wrong way okay this is what's going to happen if you do that. Like my mechanics did, they put it in the wrong way. There's a video that I have here on YouTube. But now I'm making another video because I want it to make sense to you guys. You can see cylinder number two isn't moving, cylinder number eight isn't moving. That's because those lifters are in backwards. If you hear that loud ticking noise, that's your problem. Your lifters could possibly be in backwards. You might want to check that, okay? You can hear that. So now that's from the incorrect insulation of the lifter. All right. Now I did set up here the. Um, this is Permatex number two. You want to put that on the cylinder head bolts, so you don't leak coolant. And this is copper spray gasket. Spray that on your cylinder head gaskets. On each side there, 
and that'll prevent any leaks, small leaks from, uh, you know, any gaps in there. So that'll prevent any coolant from coming out. <clears throat> so now this is going to be incorrect because this one is stuck. So I'm going to flip that around. That's the correct way, okay? Got that, everybody? Make sure this is like so. You're going to go into the truck like this. Say you're on the driver's side of the, the engine block. You're going to insert the holes towards the, sh the camshaft like so. So if you're on the driver's side of the engine, you would just insert it like that. That is the correct way. Like I said, you're going to have major issues like that video I just showed you if you don't do this. You have some major problems. Um, you know, also to make sure that if you were to replace the camshaft, you have to replace the lifters. If you replace the lifters, your camshaft is good, you don't have to replace the camshaft. But if you replace camshaft, you must replace the lifters. And if you're going to put in your old lifters, make sure that you always number everything. So like, you know, this was number cylinder one, cylinder two, three, four. Make sure that you mark it, put it in boxes, make sure it's always in order, and you put it back in the same exact spot. Otherwise, you're going to have some major issues, and it costs you a lot of money. You're going to have a lot of problems. Make sure you always organize it, put them in the correct location, along with your push rods. Make sure that your push rods are, um, you know, in the correct location. I know it doesn't seem like a big deal if it's just, you know, a rod. They all look the same, but make sure that it's uh, you can see through the top of the hole of the rod and the rods don't wobble across. Always try to make sure you line up the rods and everything in order. Never um, mix those up. Always put those in order and put fresh engine oil on them. You know, check all the torquing measurements and basically that's about it if you guys have any questions um send me a message on at adrian m a d r i a n m as in mary 714 at att.net if you have any issues with your chevy chevrolet silverado 5.3 v8 um and your lifters you know you get ticking noise in your engine i could possibly help you out send me a message